Good day, everyone. Now, my local game store is conducting a painting challenge uh, in March, and I thought I'd take part. And it is a good a time as any to uh, review the sprue of uh, said model. Now, the uh, painting challenge um, is going to be held um, on this model, the Krafos Fasia. Uh, a very nice uh, miniature, if I do say so myself. And um, I am very happy to be uh, taking part in, and uh, trying something new. Now, I have been an Eldar player before, however, I've not uh, used or painted uh, this miniature before. So it does uh, make me quite excited to uh, start to mess around with uh, this uh, this mini and looking at what I can do with it. So um, let's uh, open him up and see what we have. Right, uh, again, I made a stupid mistake. Please cut away from yourself, not to word yourself. Open up. Why am I just this uh, clumsy? Okay, there we go. Uh, not sure what came over me, but here we are. Um, instructions in the uh, blister pack itself. Um, it looks like we have. Do we have options? Nope. Looks like there are no options. Uh, for this, he does have uh, one melee weapon um, and uh, an open hand. What else do we have? We do have a very nice scenic base. Um, I think this is a very nice addition. Uh, it does have these broken um, Craftwell Wraith Bone Eldar structure in it. And it does have another component here which um, possibly fits in, in there. And that, that goes underneath him uh, attached to possibly his legs uh, which I can't ah there they are so those are his legs now looking at the uh, model itself it would appear to me that uh, he is largely hollow and if I were going to um, light him up uh, I would have quite a lot of room to work with inside uh, to run fiber optic and LEDs and things like that. However, I won't be doing that because uh, it is a painting cha challenge and not a modeling or electronics challenge and I will be um, uh, playing fair and not doing um, as one would have it nonsense um, in a challenge that would not require that type of nonsense. So yes, it will be a painting challenge and I will be exploring a painting technique um, characteristic of uh, the paintings of John Blanche and uh, I believe it is called Blanchitsu. I've not done it before although I'm really really interested in that style and in my next video I will be exploring the possibilities of uh, painting up this model in that style. Um, I have decided that I want to paint him in in uh, Saimhan colors. I, I am very fond of the red and white combination. Um, however, I will be using sort of a stippling effect that's very characteristic of Blanchetsu. And um, I will be updating you along the way in my next uh, video on this uh, model. So till next time, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe and comment below. Have a nice day.